New green initiatives from Google. New eco-friendly projects. Progress depends on radical innovation. In the past, many companies have focused on developing next-generation consumer electronics, an extremely lucrative sector of technology. With a bit of passion and unconventional thinking, Google has shifted its thinking away from the short-sighted customer electronics field, moving towards the development of green technology. Today, we'll be talking about Google's green initiative. Though Google heavily emphasized its growing mobile presence and new desktop operating system during its annual Google I.O. Developers Conference, the company still released information detailing the progress of its environmentally friendly initiatives. One of the most interesting announcements that the company made was the development of an application plugin that would help automobiles determine where they are going, helping them become more efficient by analyzing trends. This technology, called prediction, maximizes fuel and power consumption, which effectively reduces carbon emissions. Collaborating with engineers at Ford, Google is helping cars remember how to drive each and every day by utilizing cloud computing and pattern matching algorithms. Why would Google allocate its valuable resources to develop technology that would contribute to a sector of the economy that the company does not specialize in? It is easy to say that the company would do it solely to enter into an unexplored market. There have been many rumors in the past that Google would eventually enter the automobile market, and this would be an obvious step in making that rumor reality. What is far more likely is that the internet monolith is contributing to making the planet a bit greener, bit by bit. In recent years, Google has made its environmentally conscious initiatives well known through the gadget universe. Whether it is simply cutting down on the emissions on data farms or having goats roaming Google's campus to eliminate the need for fertilizer and lawnmowers, the company has always strived to cut down on greenhouse gases. In a way akin to IBM, Google is contributing to the future green advancements of the world by implementing them today. Google would be nowhere without its data centers. Each search algorithm, cloud-based computer and mobile device heavily relies on these massive server farms. Any given unit of energy that is poured into the typical data center is never used again. By managing to half their data center energy use through practical thinking, using the excess energy to power office complexes, Google has effectively cut down on its environmental impact. The internet search giant even forces its employees to work in a toasty environment to save energy. Utilizing its renowned satellite services, Google is now providing information to indigenous tribes on deforestation, giving them the ability to track and prevent the atrocity from taking place. Wildlife activist groups can use Google Earth to map areas at risk of being destroyed by logging companies and palm oil producers. With severe droughts plaguing the countryside, French authorities have used Google's mapping services to determine agricultural regions that should face water restrictions. After purchasing a wind farm in Iowa only a few years ago, Google announced its agreement to buy electricity from a wind generation facility in Oklahoma, boosting the use of renewable power on the electric grid that will power one of its new data centers. Under a 20-year agreement with the local service provider, Google's long-term goal of running entirely on renewable energy is growing closer and closer. Advocating carbon neutrality in every aspect of its internal affairs, Google is constantly searching for ways to ensure that it never consumes excessive gas. Google has shuttles that run on biodiesel and encourage its employees to ride into work on bikes, skateboards and scooters. Since 2007, Google has attempted to keep its operations carbon neutral. They've done it by reducing energy use, incorporating renewable energy and offsetting carbon emissions. By adopting unconventional techniques for effectively lowering its environmental impact, the company has become a model for implementing green technology in a fiscally efficient manner. Unfortunately, no company is completely perfect in lowering carbon emissions. Google works hard to cut energy use and power up with renewable resources whenever possible, but the company is realistic in examining its operations. Instead of trying to purge carbon from its system, Google invests in offsetting its carbon emissions by investing in green initiatives that would not have the funding to survive otherwise. Carbon free by 2030. Google just made one of the big tech's most ambitious environmental commitments. It will work to run its operation purely on carbon free energy by 2030. 
It also announced that as of today, it has purchased enough carbon offsets to essentially cancel out all the planet heating carbon dioxide emissions since it was founded in 1998. Google has been carbon neutral every year since 2007, which means that it offsets the emissions it generates from burning fossil fuels by investing in renewable energy projects or other initiatives that draw carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere and into storage. But relying on offsets doesn't actually wean the company off fossil fuels. Google released 4.9 million metric tonnes of greenhouse gases in 2018 alone, roughly the amount that more than 1 million passenger vehicles might put out in a year. Google's new pledge comes as California, home to Google's headquarters, continues to burn and choke on the smoke from blazes made more devastating by climate change. We have until 2030 to chart a sustainable cause for our planet or face the worst consequences of climate change, Google CEO Sundar Pichai said in a video released today. We are also feeling those impacts today of historic wildfires in the US to devastating flooding in many parts of the world. Once Google's data centers are powered completely by carbon-free energy, this will mean every email you send through Gmail, every question you ask Google search, every YouTube video you watch, and even route you take using Google Maps is supplied by clean energy every hour of every day. Pitch I wrote in a blog posted yesterday. Google's new commitment applies to the company's electricity usage. The company will continue to offset emissions for things like employees' travel, Reuters reports. So this brings us to the conclusion of today's video. Let us know how you feel about Google going green. Till then, hope to see you in another video.